we will compare the velocity profile at the outlet that we get from the fluent solution to the corresponding analytical result um, in the fully developed region. And you know, we have an analytical result only in the fully developed region. And we saw in the pre-analysis that the the velocity the equation for the velocity profile looked like that. And I want to compare, you know, the, the velocity profile we get from this equation to the velocity profile at the outlet in the fluent solution. What I've done here is I've created a, an, a CSV file in Excel and where I have plot, uh, I have listed, you know, on the, in the left-hand column, I have the axial velocity. And in this column, I have the radial distance from the axis. So at the axis, the radial distance is zero and the corresponding axial velocity is two. And then at the wall, the radial distance is 0.1 and the corresponding axial velocity is zero. And I've given you this file in CSV format and you can download it using the link beneath this video. So right click on the link and save it into your user underscore files folder or you could save it to another folder let me go to my folder save it to your user underscore files folder um, i think that's that's the cleanest uh, otherwise you know sometimes you get this error that it's not able to find the file when you move the the location of the project and i've called it veloc well underscore profiles uh, underscore hand calc um, and I'm using hand calc to distinguish it from you know the, the profile that we're getting from from fluent let's read this into CFD post so I'll go to CFD post um, and for velocity profile I'll highlight the data series tab and say new and for file, so I'll, I'll say file here, and I'll browse to um, the location. And you know, if I click on user underscore files, it'll give me that particular location. So I'll highlight that file, and I'll say open, and then say apply. Okay, I had to do that again. Um, and you see now it gives me the velocity profile from the analytical solution. And you see that it's, you know, the, the fluent solution is, is pretty close to the analytical solution in the fully developed region. Um, so this is the fluent solution in the fully developed region. And the, the difference might be, you know, it could be due to the linearization error, but that's unlikely since I've gone down to, you know, the, the, the convergence was um, was very smooth and I'd gone down to a residual level of 10 to the power of minus 6. And it's probably then due to the discretization error. And so I can, you know, I one thing to check is that as I refine the mesh and reduce the discretization error, that the the fluent profile agrees better with the analytical result we'll do that in the verification section